What's up, guys? It's Ola here, and today I'm actually going to be talking about the uh, new ban list. Um, you know, obviously, you know the ban list came out, like, last Tuesday about this new format, and basically, and I just want to talk about it because everybody's been doing it, and I want to give you my two cents on it. Um, by the way, I haven't been doing Pokemon lately because I just really don't, like, as much as I hate to say this, I just really don't want to. I don't know. I guess I just don't want to play competitively anymore. I tried. I didn't have fun. People DC'd on me twice. It's just all these, like, fucking, like, 12-year-old fucking pe Like, all these 12-year-old dudes that, like, get so salty when they make a misplay or they get hacked out. Like, I, I don't know. I just, like, the community right now to me is just really mad. And I guess that's what really got me out of Pokemon at this point. I tried doing it. After like four games, I just I wasn't having fun, so I just I, I don't know. Maybe I'll still do it, but I really cannot make any more provinces. Although Yu-Gi-Oh to me is much more fun, even like with this this new format is like really messed up. Like I really like it because it's more like old school style. Like I fucking remember it when I was little, uh, before I kind of got out of the game when uh. 5Ds came out, but now, like, it, it's just different, it banned so much crap, they made everything, like, they made ev almost every single deck viable, which I really like, I mean, obviously, Dragon Rulers, um, aren't really that great, um, although you can, like, use even different dimension reincarnation, there's still so much things to do in this format, it's ridiculous. Now, for me, I do like the ban list, it's, it's different, they banned a lot of stuff, they made this game much more... Uh, strategic, they made people have to test stuff, you know, like, we actually have to be creative ourselves, and I really do like that, it made it, like, like it, it made the game more skillful, but the thing is, my only issue with it is, is that I had three decks, and two of them were absolutely killed by it. First deck, obviously, um, well, first deck, you know, they banned this card. I built three Axis Fire Fist. Thank goodness I didn't pay for a rooster because my friend pulled a rooster. And yeah, um, this deck is dead. Like, if it was like a 3 4 Axis hybrid, I would do it, but I don't want to buy Wolf Bar for $70. Or, I mean, I can't even trade for it because I don't have that much, like, trade stuff. Although, I will, um, ask for some trades and I think I'm going to build a Dragoon. Like, I'll give you a. I'll tell you later. Um, and then the other deck that really hit, which I, really upset me, I was, like,. Like, if it hit three axes, I'd be fine, but two decks, and then I really like my hero deck, and they totally kill my Stratos. I was so upset about that. Like, my Stratos is dead. I can't use heroes. Like, it's so upsetting. Like, I would have used heroes. Like, if they would have been everything else, like, what they did, even without, like, just not banned Stratos, I'd be really happy. Like, the deck, I'd, like, add it to my liking because I'd have to use different traps. I'd probably add a third Gemini Spark, put a Crusader of Endymon for that Gemini Spark. You know, there would be so much testing, and i have so much fun with it. Unfortunately, you know, like, Stratos got hit, and this deck... Like, I can't even build Bubble Bee, because with Bubble Bee, all you did was, like, use Stratos XZ with it, Warrior Returning Alive, get it back again, use that to get Bubble Man, draw two cards, like, it... it well, actually, no, it's not drawn two cards, but Special Summon, XZ... You know, like, you ran Warrior Returning Alive most of the time just for the Stratos to bring it back, or unless you, like, really need to draw those cards, you use it for Bubble Man if it's the only thing you have. Special Summon, draw two cards. It, it, like, like, even Bubble Bee got killed because there's no Stratos because of the whole Warrior Returning Alive and Hero Lifts thing. Like, Stratos really just saves your ass, but not anymore. Like, there's no Stratos. Like, heroes are just fucking... Like, I did Hero Beat instead of Bubble Beat. Like, I thought that maybe Bubble Bee can do well without this deck, but it really, or without Stratos, but it really cannot. And honestly, I think it relies on Stratos even more than fucking Hero Beat. But I can't even do Hero Beat. So, yeah, well, I think I heard something that was weird. So, anyways, yeah, so basically, all, like, that I have remaining from any of my surviving decks, uh, is this bad boy right here, my, uh, Dragoonity deck. Like, this deck is so, like, it really is the only deck I have left. I know Gold Sark got hit, but there's just ways to get around that ban. Like, wait, what the hell is he? Um, like last format, this card wasn't an, it wasn't necessary, but now you have to use it to like compensate for the Gold Sarks. Um, like this, the, like th this is pretty much the deck I'm going to be using for this format. I'm going to be using Dragoonity. Now I know I haven't profiled Dragoonity uh, on my channel, is because I mean, like, just like I've taken a while to perfect it to my liking because I really like this deck. It's actually the first competitive deck I built, I think. So yeah, I mean, I still have my Cyber Dragon deck, but that's for fun uses. But if I want to be competitive, I really have to use this freaking deck. Wait, shit. Oh, that's weird. Super webcam. But yeah, like I have to use this deck. 
So, I really, like, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like, I don't know what deck to build, so maybe you guys could give me some, uh... Maybe you guys could give me some suggestions of what to build. I was thinking Gear Gia, but I don't want to pay or just get fucking Draco Sack and Big Eye, because, I mean, Redox and the Machine of Fortress. Like, I want to build Machine of Gear Gia, not Karakuri Gear Gia. So, I'm going to build that deck, but I don't think I will just because of Draco Sack and Big Eye still being a $50. And, like, in order to competitively do well with that deck, I really have to get those cards. And I just don't feel like I have the money. I just don't want to waste it on, you know, two cards. Like, seriously, I think it's a little crazy. Um, but, yeah, I think this format's great. It's going to make people think. It's going to make a lot of decks viable. I'm also thinking of using Fire Kings or, like, but I need Wolf Bark. And, again... No, but, like, seriously, like, Hasty Flames might be a thing that I might just do, because I like fires, so, I mean, like, I really don't know what I want to build, like, really, Gear Gear is probably, like, my first, like, thought, but I just don't know if I want to do it for one reason, it's because of the Jacob Second Big Eye, maybe I just won't use it, I'll just use, like, Master of Blades, but, uh, I, I just, I, I don't know, but, yeah, Jagunini is pretty much gonna be the deck I'm gonna be using, so, you know, like, I'm gonna kind of make it a series on my channel where I'm just working with a deck, you know, editing it, like, uh, hang on for a second, like, um, I'll show you, like, right now, um, you know, a couple of cards I can use in that deck that I just don't use, like, maybe I could, I mean, you guys will see, but, like, right now, like, I don't know if I want to add black and white wave to the deck, I know it's really good, but, like, you don't always get those XDs with the synchros off, wow, like, my camera's being weird, so, yeah, um, you know, like, just stuff like that, like, deep prison, maybe I'll use deep prison, but I don't know, uh, Librarian, I'm not using, I'm using, actually, I'm not using Librarian, I'm actually using, um, da -da 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 -da. I'm using this guy instead, because I actually really like him, because I would use Contaster, but Evil Swarms exist, and I know this guy doesn't get over Ophion, uh, this is our meetings, keep our boundaries, by the way, if you guys can't, uh, see that, yeah, this card's pretty, odd. actually, this guy's pretty, this guy's pretty legit, I like him a lot, so, you know, he's a deck, uh, he, he's a card I like to use in that deck, it's just, I think it's a really good card, um, cause Evil Swarm, like, Catastrophe uh, can't do anything to Evil Swarms, Librarian, you know, doesn't get over it, but the thing is with that card is, like, Evil Swarm set a lot of back row, and it just, you know, nothing happens, like, they cannot activate back row when that guy, when that guy attacks, so basically if Ophian's not on the field, this card, like, thrives, and I've, like, I I've tested, you know, I fought a couple Evil Swarms, this card thrives, so, yeah, um, like, honestly, I, like, I do like the format, it's just the fact that it killed two of my decks, and I'm really upset about that. But yeah, guys, I know I've just been, like, really rambling at this point, like, for what, like, seven, for, like, almost eight minutes. But that's pretty much, like, my thoughts on the new format. It's good, it's skill-based, you know. Uh, I really want to enter tournaments with this format just to see the, uh, the, just to see the, uh, like, the diversity. But, like, there are going to be a couple, like, top top tier 1 decks. Like, Insectors, I think, are going to be killing it this form. And my friend's using it. And, like, it, they're really goddamn good, like, right now. Like, holy shit. Like, I think this... Insectors are going to be good. Infernities are going to absolutely kill it. Prophecy is still really good. The Reaper Turbo version and the High Priestess version, it's so... It's still so good. And now that I have World, I can just, like, do Justice, um, Temperance, and World. It's so good. But... Um, let's see what other decks, uh, I mean, I think my Dragoonies can do very well in this format, it's a very, like, degenerate deck, and nobody uses it, so I like that, like, nobody thinks Dragoonies is good, but, like, it honestly is, I think it was tier 2 or tier 3 the past format, but, like, the March 13 format, when Tempest came out, this was, like, tier 3 or tier 2, like, it's a good deck, Heratus is gonna be killing it, um, I like Grief Keepers are not, actually, I thought, I was gonna say Grief Keepers, but I forgot Roll Tribute got hit, but, yeah, um, and I don't even... Oh, Dragon Plants. Dragon Plants is going to be a really big thing. So, yeah, I think my top five, like, decks, like, in no order would be, uh, the five best decks would be probably Four Axes, Prophecy, Dragon Plants, Infernity, and, um... Wow, what did I say? Uh, and, and I... Not sure. I really do think Insector or even Mermel. Mermel is still a viable deck, even though, uh... Atlantean Dragoons and Diva were hit, it's still, it's a much slower deck, but it's still a very viable deck. But yeah, I like this format, it's gonna make a lot of decks good, and that's what I like about, like, that's very much what makes people love Yu-Gi-Oh, like, Konami finally listened to us. So yeah, that's my two cents, I will give you guys a, uh, Dragoon deck profile later, 
Um, and I'm also going to be looking for a lot of stuff. Like, actually, I have a kind of a couple of requests. Uh, maybe if you guys have, uh, anybody of you have a DT, uh, ducks, you know, PM me. Maybe I could, like, make me an offer, like, maybe something for trade. Ask me if I have a mate. I'll tell you if I don't. I did, like, three dual terminal ducks and then an ultra red MD. Like, I would like to really bump up the rarity on this. Like, I hate, like, starting to, I'm starting to become a rarity whore and I hate it, but, you know, it's just a bad thing. But yeah, like, if you guys have an ultra red MD, maybe I'll think about super, but I really would like an ultra. So, yeah. Um, I'll come up with the deck profile later. Uh, I'll maybe post it in a day or two, and then also my trade binder, because it's been updated. Like, I have a Yamato and just keep building good stuff in there from the new set, because my friend and I bought that box. So, yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of conversation thing. I really don't usually do this stuff, but, you know, why not? So, yeah, um, oh, shit, I have, like, work, work to go to soon. Well, in either case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and this discussion. So, you know, like, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to be using Dragoonities most of the time and give me ideas for decks I could build that maybe I would like. Yugi is, like, a thing, but just the Jago sack and big eye really turning me off. But, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later.